we all kind of know, maybe not consciously, but we all kind of know what we need to do and what our skills are. This takes that person and allows them to create metaphors for their life and work through whatever it is they need to work through. My name is Kathy Wilkes and I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist in Florida and I've got a business doing equine assisted psychotherapy. First got interested in horses as a little girl but never had any access to them. Instead got my education in marriage and family therapy and began working first with sexual trauma and then with um, at-risk children, adolescents, and their families in a psychiatric setting. It was during that time that I became aware of this type of work, combining the therapy I was doing with at-risk kids and horses, and that intrigued me. A lot of the kids that we've been working with lately are the abused, neglected, rejected, and abandoned kids, particularly kids that are living currently at the Florida United Methodist Children's Home. We also work with other kids in the community that are at risk, that have had behavioral problems or trauma. My favorite part is doing it outside, in nature, which is so healing in of itself. It doesn't feel like work, although it is. It's very definitely work and it's very definitely powerful therapy. I'm not a rider and our clients aren't riders. They don't ever ride these horses. It's 100% on the ground. What we're working on is often trauma and depression and social skills and things that are a little deeper uh, mentally than that. So this is psychotherapy. I can do play therapy, but bringing the horse in, there's an unpredictability and the client is going to have to make choices and use skills and develop skills that maybe they've never had to do before. We might ask them to take some of this junk, buckets and poles and ropes and things, and come out here in the round pen and build an obstacle that the horse could go over. And it's so interesting to see that because sometimes they do these really intricate, they'll use every piece of junk I have and build this intricate obstacle course. The directions were built an obstacle that the horse can go over. There have been a lot of research projects done around the world um, by EGALA to show the efficacy of this work. They're showing uh, an increase in coping skills, a de decrease in depression, a uh, decrease in anger outbursts, and I think that is so amazing to hear. If you need something done, you got a goal, and you just stand around and twiddle your thumbs, is it going to happen? Maybe, but most of the time you have to put forth some energy. So if you want to change your life, you can't just wait for that to happen. You have to make it happen. You have to put some energy into it. And once they get that, then they go and they can change your life.